Hey guys, Smokes all those seven here again, but you can call me Chip, and I am back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the new Timidity Trials Special Heroes banner. The one we already know from the Fate channel, um, so let's just jump into it so we can read all of the skills and all that stuff. Very nice banner, though. Uh, so as we know, uh, whoever is on this banner, uh, heading to the face of the wolf. True. Very funny. Uh, let's see who's first. Uh, it'll prop. It might be Mia, it might be Lucia. It is Mia. Yukata are so cute! <sighs> they make me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Um, okay. Summertime Axe, which is not an axe at all. It is a big old thing of cotton candy, which is pretty funny because there are a lot of, like, water based, um, uh, units in this game, so if they just like spray spray that axe with a little bit of water, um, she has no weapon because that cotton cotton candy will melt right away. Um, anyways, enables Kanto remainder one, very nice. Accelerate special trigger cooldown counter one, of course. Grant spectrum plus five. Oh wow, like just like um a, a visible plus five to everything. Interesting. Um, at start of turn, if unit's HP is greater than equal to twenty five percent, grant speed defense res plus six. Neutralize effect against flying bonuses and reduce the percentage of foes non-special reduced damage by X percent skills by 50% during combat. Uh, oh, to unit for one turn. Oh, interesting. So that's all like a visible buff. Cool. Uh, okay. At start of combat. Oh, I, I guess it makes sense. I literally, I looked down and I saw speed defense prime um, and the prime skills go uh, are better based off the amount of visible bonuses you have. Uh, so very cool. At start of combat, if unit's HP is greater than or equal to 25%, grants bonus to unit's spectrum uh, equal to 15% of unit's speed at the start of combat, neutralizes, effect that, neutralizes effects that inflict special cooldown, um, charge minus X on unit, deals unit deals plus X times 5 damage, max of 30. Um, wow. And reduces damage from foes' attacks by X times 3 during combat, max of 18. Uh, and also, when foe's attack triggers foe's special, reduce damage further by X times 3, max of 18, uh, excluding area effect specials. X equals number of bonus effects active on unit and foe, um, excluding stat bonuses. At start of combat, if unit's HP is greater than or equal to 25%, restore 7 HP to unit after combat. Um, wow. So a lot of, like, bonus-based, like, buffs. Bonus-based buffs. True. Um... Cool. I guess it's pretty strong for cotton candy. Um, speed defense prime 4. If bonus is active on unit, grant speed defense plus X to unit during combat. X equals number of bonus effects active on unit. Uh, excluding stat bonuses times 2 plus 3, max of 9. And also, if number of bonus effects active on unit um, is greater than or equal to 4, unit can counterattack regardless of foe's range during combat. Um, and I think right away, it again, grants neutralized effect against flying, uh, reduces percentage and reduces damage. Um, I wonder if those, yeah, those look all visible. So, very, very strong. Wow. Pegasus Rift. Okay. Um, this is uh, definitely the counterpart to the Wyvern Rift. Um, inflicts attack speed minus 4 on foe during combat. If unit speed plus res is greater than or equal to foe's speed plus res minus 10, um, excluding effects from Phantom. Unit deals plus X damage, um, excluding when dealing damage with area effect special, and reduces damage from foe's first attack by X during combat. X equals unit's res at the start of combat minus 30. Um, so if you have 40 res at the start of combat, it's already maxed out, so very cool. Um, first attack, normally, oh, okay. Um, unit makes a, unit makes a guarantee follow-up attack, foe cannot make a follow-up attack, and increases the speed difference necessary for foe to make a follow-up attack by 20 during combat. Speed must be greater than or equal to 25 uh, to make a follow-up attack. Stacks with similar skills. Yeah, so very strong. Uh, the Pegasus version of the Wyvern Rift that I think Rosado has. Um, so yeah, very, very good. And then attack speed rain snap is also very helpful. Very, very strong. So very, very good fodder. Um, speed defense prime four is new though, so you would have to get all four of those. Um, and then I guess you can get either Pegasus Rift or Attack Speed Rain Snap. Um, maybe if you're trying to inherit this on someone with higher defense, uh, because it's Speed Defense Prime 4, 
uh, you could just ignore Pegasus Rift and go straight for Snap because it's useful. Um, but Snap is also a bit better for like team stuff and not specifically for the unit. So if you're looking for like um, what Pegasus Rift can provide, then that is also a very good option. If conditions are right, she gets plus 40 damage and takes minus 46 damage. She nullifies foes and stuff. Pretty good, right? Wow. Now, Lucia. Thank you for inviting me to the festival. We're going to have fun. Um, Breezy Spear grants attack plus three. Unit can counter attack regardless of foes' range. Very nice. Uh, unit and target cannot trigger specials during- okay, so she does have the, the, um, neutralizing of special stuff. Uh, very, very good. Um, cannot trigger specials during combat, or area effect specials. Uh, grants inspection plus 5 to unit, grants a bonus to units, uh, everything equal to 15% of unit speed start of combat, and deals damage equal to 20% of unit speed during combat, and restores 7 HP to unit after combat. Disable skills of all other foes and allies during combat excluding unit and target. Um, so the feud effect, but also for herself. I think base Lucia also has that. Um, disables the following effects for both unit and target during combat. Defensive terrain effects, support effects, guarantee follow-ups, effects that prevent follow-ups, effects that prevent counterattacks, and effects that change attack priority. Wow. So yeah, very one-on-one. -on -one. Um, I don't know if base Lucia has that part. Um, I don't have her, but uh, that that's pretty cool. Uh, pretty crazy. Um, she also does not have a special, but she can technically make use of Vital Astra, um, because when Vital Astra is ready and procced, uh, they get damage reduction. Uh, I don't think Gust does that, the new special, but um, despite not having one, if you have spare Vital Astra, um, I also think Vital Astra is in like the Ephemera lineup. Uh, this That's still pretty decent to give to her, even if she can't use a special. Um, attack Speed Bulwark, Rally Up Speed, very nice. Interesting. Firm Canto Curb. Um, if foe is within four spaces of this unit, triggers Canto. Um, oh, if foe within four spaces of this unit triggers Canto, inflicts Canto control on that foe. Prevents after start of turn skills. Wait. Prevents after start of turn skills trigger action ends immediately. Status effect from being inflicted on unit and allies within three spaces of unit. Oh, interesting. So, basically a counter for the duo Leon. Okay. Uh, for unit and allies with the, within three spaces of unit, neutralize the effects that would end their action as a result of foe skills, um, or the after start of turn skills trigger, action ends immediately status. Uh, does not neutralize the effects from ether rage structures or the special slot. Um, oh, okay. Uh, wow, if it did that, that'd be crazy. If you put the, the ether raids, like the plus uh, unit slot, and it just immediately neutralized that. Uh, that would be very, very strong. Um, but yeah, that's um, that's pretty pretty good. But the fact that they needed to add a counter to to um, oh wait, is that also? I wonder if that also affects um, uh, for Mortis, like because the thing with for Mortis, if you don't knock him out the closest ally who hasn't acted yet immediately ends their turn. I wonder if that cancels that. Um, I have no idea. Uh, but still. Uh, also, very funny, that's very Leon-based if that's the, the case. But it is basically a direct counter to the duo Valentine's Leon and Erica. So, cool. Protects allies from effects that end their actions immediately, disables all other skills except hers and targets. Oh, and also them, true. Hoshido's summer festival is, as expected, quite different from Norse. And here's Leo. Oh, he's a demote. Oh, I guess I didn't really get that. Or did I? I don't remember if I noticed that. 
I might have noticed Takumi in the Fade channel, but I don't know if I noticed Leo's. Um, Juicy Bucket full plus. At start of turn, if unit if unit's HP is greater than or equal to 25%, grants attack plus 6, and if unit initiates combat, unit makes guaranteed follow-up attack to unit for one turn. At start of combat, if unit's HP is greater than or equal to 25%, grants spectrum plus 4 to unit during combat, deals plus X damage, X equals number of bonus effects active on unit and foe, excluding stat bonuses, times 5, a uh, max of 25. Um, cool. Uh, okay, what type is he? Ooh, an inheritable colorless tome. Um, but that's also very funny because uh, not many colorless tome units are like going to make use of skill inheritance for their weapon because a lot of them have pref weapons. Um, but there there are some that don't or don't make proper use of their weapons, um, and this could probably help them. Also, it's very funny that you just give them like a, a bucket of tomatoes. Um, and also Stillwater 3 and Fatal Smoke 3, pre uh, prerequisite. Um, as, like, Fatal Smoke 3 prerequisite is very helpful, because I don't think there's many, if not any, um, in the 3 and 4 star pool for Fatal Smoke 3. Um, for fodder to give Fatal Smoke 4 from other units as skill inheritance. So pretty decent if you get extra Leo, um, as well as Stillwater 3. Okay, cool. Not a crazy unit, but not horrible. His weapon deals up to plus 25 damage and guarantees follow-ups. Uh, uses C skill to obstruct healing or something like that. Quite a comfortable outfit. Yeah, just a bucket of tomatoes and cucumbers. Or pickles, I don't know. Probably cucumbers. I reckon that their outfit looks amazing on you. I, I mean, uh, it really suits you. <laughs> you look wonderful too, Nephany. You wear that yukata well. And the uh, and the duo Nephany and Sakura pair, very cute. Uh, fluttering fan, uh, accelerate special trigger cooldown count minus one. Of course, if there is an ally within three rows of three columns centered on unit, grants bonus to units. Um, everything equal to five. Plus number of foes within three rows or three columns centered on unit times three. Max of 14. If any space within two spaces of unit has a Divine Vein effect applied or counts as difficult terrain, excluding impassable terrain, value is treated as 14. Oh, interesting. And neutralizes foes' bonuses to speed and res from skills like Fortify, Rally, etc. Very nice. During combat, or during combat, and also if unit's attack can trigger unit special, grant special cooldown count minus one to unit before unit's first attack and special cooldown count minus one to unit before unit's uh, first follow-up attack during combat. And also, if unit's HP is less than or equal to 99% when triggering their special, unit deals plus 10 damage. Oh, interesting. Uh, if there's an ally within three rows of three columns centered on unit, and if unit speed is greater than foe speed, foe cannot counterattack. For allies within three rows of three columns centered on unit, if allies attack can trigger ally special, neutralizes effects that inflict special cooldown charge minus X on ally, and grant special cooldown count plus one to ally before allies first attack during their combat. And also, if allies HP is less than or equal to 99% when triggering their special, ally deals plus 10 damage. Wow. So very, very... That's that's very good. Um, kind of like perfect support to the Bernadettas, and also, uh, who is it? The re rearmed Sonia. Uh, she also has that uh, effect. Wow. Whoa, attack speed mastery. If unit has entered combat during the current turn, enables Kanto 2. At start of combat, if foe's HP is greater than or equal to 50%, um, grants attack speed plus 7 to unit during combat, and also if any space within two spaces of unit has a divine vein effect applied, or counts as difficult terrain, excluding impassable terrain, grants attack speed plus 4 to unit during combat. Oh, wow. Attack speed mastery. If unit has entered combat during the current turn. Interesting. Okay. Um, and Resonance 4, which I think is on the Emblem Erica. Not Erica, uh, Emblem Celica. Um, and in Speed Res Crux. Uh, Attack Speed Mastery is interesting. Um... So, I guess if you have a dancer on your team... Oh, the, the duo skill might have that effect. 
like to act again during combat. That might be the case. Um, but there's obviously uh, uh, like gale force. Um, but because like what it looks like, it might just be for flyers and cavalry. Um, it kind of reminds me of the catch skill. Um, interesting. So if your unit has gale force, or if it's like legendary leaf who has the near turn seal, uh, I think that's what it's called and they can act again, or just any unit that can act multiple times. Oh, like the, um, what's it called? The Bride, Sharena, and Veronica. Maybe them as well. Uh, they can make very good use of that. So basically a plus 11 to attack and speed, um, as long as the Divine Vein effect is applied, which is interesting. Or it's boosted by the Divine Vein effect. They use their power to activate their special in quick succession. Nearby allies get reduced special cooldown. Um, oh, that's true that they also support allies in that way. Understood. Yeah, so if they can dance. Uh, grants attack speed plus 6, resonance blades, and unit can move one extra space that turn only. Does not stack to unit and allies from the same titles as unit for one turn, and neutralizes any penalty on unit and allies from the same titles as unit. Um, neutralizing the penalties is very helpful, but it does not personally grant, like, an extra, like, movement, or an extra, like, use, like the ninjas do. Um, okay. So it's a very interesting A skill that really relies on being able to act multiple times. Um, the fact that they're ranged means that they can't uh, use Gale Force, um, as well as I wonder how inheritable that skill will be. If it'll just be for Cavalries and Flyers, um, if it will be accessible to infantry, um, I wonder. Interesting. And then obviously we have Takami uh, as the free Tempest Dragon. This heat. Um, yeah, Takami is the free Tempest Trial unit, and that's that's basically it for this banner. I don't think I'm gonna be summoning on it. Um, I I like these characters, but I don't really have a need for them. Is this alright? Oh, interesting. She basically neutralized the scowl effect because of her weapon. Alright, yeah, I think, um, that's probably just gonna be it for the video. I, I wanted to, like, get this video out of the way quickly. Um, there's the Takami. Oh, he's a cavalry bow unit. Um, I think we did see that, and I think we did see his skills in the Fade Channel. Uh, I don't remember them, but, um, yeah, there's that. So, yeah, I did want to just kind of get this video out of the way, um, because we knew all these characters, and I want to kind of quickly read through their skills, but, like, some of them are pretty interesting. Lucia is basically the, like like normal Lucia, but as a lance unit. Um, the Leo has good skill inheritance uh, fodder. Um, the Mia is surprisingly like versatile um, with all the bonuses, and the Duo is very very good like on her own as well as really really good support. Um, very very good support because all the things she gets for herself she can also give to allies. Um, so yeah, very very nice. Very nice banner, but yeah, like I said, I don't think I'm going to be summoning on it. I'll probably do my free summon circle and hope it it, it does look like a full spectrum banner. Um, so that is very nice for y'all who have fate pass and can spark really easily, or if you just want to throw some orbs at this banner and summon. Um, uh, I wish you all the best of luck. And if you are also not summoning, then save up those orbs. I wish you luck for the very next time you do summon, which will probably be CYL. Um, if you are saving your orbs, which does suck because I know, like, there are definitely big Lucia fans out there. There's a ton of Mia fans. Um, so the people who are really going to splurge on this banner, uh, might have to hold out for CYL, um, and all that stuff. But it's one of those cross that bridge when we come to it kind of moments. So, yeah, let's just let this video play out. Um... Uh,
Yeah, Leo is a four-star focus, and it is a full spectrum banner. It'll probably show the spark for big pass. Yep. So yeah, very nice banner. Everyone looks great. We've already seen them all because of the Fate Channel. Um, but there's Mia, there's Lucia, there's Leo, and here is the duo. Very, very cute. Very nice. Um, they all look great. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for the video, guys. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. But until then, goodbye.